This video will show you how to create mailing labels in Word 2010 using the Mail Merge feature. The names and addresses for the labels are stored in an Excel file. This is the Excel file. You can see the first row is uh, column headers, last name, envelope, which is essentially first name, letter, which we aren't going to use this time because it's used as a salutation in a letter, address, city, state, and zip. All of the names and addresses in this file are fictitious and I created them for use in this video only. We're going to close out the Excel file. That brings up Word 2010. We're going to click on the Mailings tab and Start Mail Merge. I'm going to use the step-by-step -step Mail Merge wizard. You can see that brings up a guide that will be at the far right of your screen. Since these are labels, we're going to click on Labels to select the document type. And then go down to step 1 of 6, Starting Document. Now we need to choose the Label Options. That will tell the program what labels we want to use for this process. So click on that. And that will bring up a dialog box to allow you to choose the number of the label that you want to use. That number will be on the box of labels that you have that you're using. If it hasn't been checked already, uh, beside label vendors uh, is a box showing uh, different vendors. Make sure that Avery US Letter is selected. If not, uh, choose the drop down arrow to find Avery US Letter and select it. So everything is selected the way we want. We'll click OK. That brings up the label template. Next, we're going to select the recipients. And to do that, we want to make sure, first of all, that we use an existing list. And we can browse for that list. So I'll click on Browse. And find the document. And open it. Now some documents will have, some Excel files will have several worksheets. And our worksheet has specific names to those worksheets instead of sheet 1, 2, or 3. So what we want where our addresses are stored is on the worksheet named Mark. So we'll choose that and select OK. Here you can see that these are the names and addresses that are stored in the worksheet mark. Uh, we have them all selected. It's done that way by default. If you want to unselect them all, you click the top checkbox, and that will unselect all of them. And that way you can select individual ones that you want. But we want to select all of them, so we're going to do that. Select the top box and click OK. Now we want to arrange the labels and put the parts of the address where we want them. So we'll click on step 3 of 6, Arrange Your Labels. And here we're going to choose Address Block. And make sure you click on the Match Fields button to make sure the program has selected the right columns for the address. You'll see first name is not matched or not selected correctly, so we will click on the drop down arrow and choose envelope. Remember, envelope was essentially the first name. So envelope. Last name is chosen correctly. The address, city, state, and zip are all chosen properly. So we'll click OK and click OK again. Now you have one label done. You want to make sure you update all of the labels to have that same address block code. So we're going to click on Update All Labels. 
they're all updated and you'll see next record on all of these labels it simply tells the program to go to the next record in the Excel file to choose what you want to put on that label. Next we will preview all our labels to make sure that to see the addresses that are actually in them. So we're going to preview labels, step four of six, and you see the addresses. And they are the way we want them, so we're going to click on complete the merge, step five of six. And here we have an opportunity to either print them now or to edit the individual labels so that we can save them, make any changes we want, print them later if we want. So we're going to select Edit Individual Labels. That brings up a dialog box. You want to make sure all is checked because we want to use all of the merged records. Click OK. And the guide box will disappear because we don't need it any longer. Now at this point you can print them the way they are or you can make a couple minor changes to make them look better. So we're going to select all of them and we want to get them a little bit away from the left margin and center them on each label a little better and single space. So to do that we, if you haven't already got the home tab checked go to the home tab, go to the paragraph group and the down arrow, select that, and the paragraph dialog box appears. We want the indentation to be 0.2. That will get it away a little bit from the left-hand margin. We want the spacing before and after each line to be 0 and single spaced. And click OK. Now you can see they are single spaced and they have moved away from the left margin a little. We want to center them a little bit on each one so we do right click and choose cell alignment and the middle left is what we want to select. And that moves them down on each label a little bit. They will print much nicer. And that's all there is to it.